right, good morning. It's Viewpoint, a program of personalities, politicians, and perspectives. Uh, so far, as I look across at the guest chair across the room, uh, which is we, noticeable. We have none of the above, <laughs> politician perspectives or personalities. But we will. We're going to fill that chair very shortly. Uh, we'll start out the viewpoint with, oh, introduce the young lady to my right. Mr. Ash, have you met Mrs. Busby? Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Jim. <laughs> yeah. um, kudos. I'm not certain uh, uh, what the certification is about, but nonetheless, it is a certification from the Illinois Association of Chiefs of Police. And they have recently certified our chief of police, Ken Greenslee, uh, which is got to be an honor or some sort. You have to uh, certainly uh, qualify, some, meet some standards for that. And uh, so uh, congratulations to uh, Ken. That's nice to have. Uh, I've been told that I'm certifiable, too. <laughs> yes, yeah, certifiably nutty. <laughs> and this morning I reached out and proved it. <laughs> John Fulton is going to be with us. He's going to be a little late. There was a glitch. It was me. <laughs> nah, I don't think I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that on yourself. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. What well, the just hey. one of those things that. Uh, what the hey? Crisis. Well, you go, you you were perusing something there, starting to laugh as, as you. As I as was we giggling. Came. Yes. Yes. This is you, really. Funny. <laughs> I think this is funny. These are these blonde men jokes, but you could just say blonde. It doesn't. You know, they, or, they come in both styles. Or gray haired either. <laughs> A blonde man's dog goes missing, and he's frantic. His wife says, why don't you put an ad in the paper? He does, but two weeks later, the dog is still missing. What did you put in the paper, his wife asks. Here, boy, he replies. <laughs> that was testing one, too. You don't think that's funny? <laughs> that's far out. <laughs> oh, I think that's a hoot. I think that's a hoot. A blonde man was driving home drunk as a skunk. Suddenly he has to swerve to avoid a tree, then another, then another. A cop car pulls him over. It's Officer Greenslate. So he tells the cop about all the trees in the road. The cop says, that's your air freshener swinging about. <laughs> Those are pretty nutsy, aren't they? The joys of the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I really ought to get on well, that. Well, give us one more. And we'll, oh, you want me to give yeah. you one more? Okay. And we'll, uh, I can do that. A blonde man is in jail. The guard looks in his cell and sees him hanging by his feet. Just what are you doing, he asks. Hanging myself, the blonde replies. Should be around your neck, says the guard. I tried that, he replies, but then I couldn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my well oh, there is that <laughs> there is that to be said now look at jim he's just <laughs> chortling <laughs> no he liked that one it's a good um, thing that you can chortle once in a while as you well yeah lives in this room like a hermit poor Jim's, thing yeah, that's exactly the point i was going to make jim he gets in here and he gets huddled in here almost like a hermit daily from early morning early. what time do you start james 4 30 and he doesn't leave till maybe four o'clock, perhaps maybe three thirty. He uh, stays here the entire time. Uh, not only handles the, uh, the console here, uh, he cleans the toilet and, and uh, <laughs> does other various sundry duties. As assigned. <laughs> it's a it's it's really a one man show, yeah. and uh, and I, I I have grave concerns for Jim once in a while because he. <laughs> All right. Now, of a serious note, you know, we talk, we all know about uh, the dire financial straits that we're in in this country. And yet, we can come up with Mexico, 622 million. These are just examples, just examples. The joys of the Internet. But, seriously, we give aid to these countries, 622 million to Mexico, 380 million to Russia. 1.4 B billion to Haiti, Jordan, 463 million, Sudan, Nigeria, Uganda, Congo, Ethiopia, Pakistan, 2, 2 billion. billion, South Africa, Senegal, Mozambique. Um, but Bill, it's money well spent. Look how they love us. <laughs> well, that's the point. Duh. That's the point. They all hate us over there, you know, and, they, and we're doling out all these billions of dollars. And uh, we can't take of our own. Uh, it's kind of like having a naughty kid and spoiling him to death. You know, oh, do you hate your mommy? Here, I'll give you some money. <laughs> yes, exactly <laughs> right. Well, 
It's a, it's a sad commentary. Yeah, it is. And uh, the thing of it is that these people out there and under the capital are so interested in, in uh, protecting their jobs and making sure that they are available for the next election that sometimes they forget uh, to take care of things in their own backyard. Uh, that's it's not a fun situation. Uh, you and I are not going to solve that. <laughs> you want to believe it. But, you know, they talked about yeah, Because uh, I'm sure they're really vitally interested in how I feel about that. Don't you suspect? Uh, well, here's an observation, or some observations by a Canadian. He said, uh, only in America could the rich people who pay 80%, 86% of all income taxes be accused of not paying their fair share by people who do not pay any income taxes at all. Only in America could people claim that the government still discriminates against black Americans when they have a black president, a black attorney general, and roughly 18% of the federal workforce is black, while only 12% of, of the population is black. Discrimination. Only in America could they have had two people, the two people most responsible for our tax code, Timothy Geithner, the head of the Treasury Department, and Charlie Rangel, who once ran both the Ways and the Means Committee, both turned out to be tax, tax cheats who are in favor of higher taxes. <laughs> What's the Canadian saying? Only in America can they have terrorists kill people in the name of Allah and have the media primarily react by fretting that Muslims might be harmed by the backlash. Well, Comment. yeah, I wanted to say, you know, they're having an awful time uh, finding a solution for the internment of this young fellow who built the pressure cooker bombs for Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a real conundrum. I have a solution. Do what they did to uh, Mr. Bin Laden. Take him out to sea and throw him overboard. Well, I bet that I bet that that I the, that the faith doesn't maybe approve of that. Well, there's a problem. We've become so politically correct. Just like that situation the other day, a young man went to high school and he went back, leaned back in his truck to pick up his bag, and he realized he left his rifle or shotgun. I forgot now in the car. Didn't have time to go back home and take it back home where he missed class. For a strange reason, he apparently didn't have a cell phone. That was, that was incredible. So he went into the school of the authorities and asked to use the phone and somebody overheard him say something to his mother about coming to get the gun out of his truck. By God, he was arrested and suspended from school. Doing the, what he figured to be the right thing. Now, where in the world does, does common sense kick in here, somewhere along the line? I think it comes from, a, we, of course, we, ha we are a society of law. And you have to have laws and rules and policies. But you can't be so rigid. I know you're not supposed to bring guns to school. Of course you're not supposed to be. That makes perfect sense. However... This kid was trying to get rid of the gun that he accidentally brought to school. Now, surely, if that were explained to you, if you were a, an official at the school, you would see that that is not a suspendable offense. I mean, really, can't you just think for yourself? Do you just read the policy and go by the, the letter of that? This is a whole different circumstance. Political I don't understand yeah. how people can be so dense sometimes. Well, where is the common sense? Whomever overheard this young man, why in the world would they would they get panicky all of a sudden? Well, they obviously didn't hear the whole sentence. Well, just heard yeah. "gun at school." <laughs> Three words. Well, it's um, you know, it's it, I almost get. Matter of fact, I do get absolutely speechless with this, <laughs> with this political correctness business. Now let's go back to only in America, this can our Canadian friends again. Only in America would they make people who want to become legal citizens of the United States wait for years in their home countries and pay tens of thousands of dollars for the privilege 
while we discuss letting anyone in and who seeks into the country illegally just magically become citizens. And by the way, pour out tons of money to them too. Oh, in America. Well, that's in the same column as you can't fix Stupid. these... Uh, well, yeah, you can't fix stupid. stupid. It's per, per, beauty fades, but stupid's forever. Um, it's it's in the same column as your uh, bequests Aid to money. the various countries uh, mm-hmm. by our government. You know, I can't fix that, and I can't fix this. I don't know what the fix is. Common sense would help a lot. Well, yeah, I know, but outside of that, because <laughs> we've already negated we, that. Yeah. Seems to be, well... No, I'm not going to go to this last one, which says, well, maybe I ought to anyway. Hey. Oh, in America, can a man with no background, no qualifications, no experience, and a complete failure at his job be reelected? <laughs> well, <we laughs> Somewhat see, cynical. Well, but we've seen it more than once. Well, we've seen that a lot, haven't we? Well, th- uh-huh. we've got... We've got governors that have gone to prison. I think that that kind of speaks. We have a good record of that. that. Yeah, and we're sharing it. We're still working. John's. Out. Sure, mm-hmm. I think that would be a good idea, Jim. Let's take a little commercial break, break. while right. John comes in. Bless his heart. We'll do that right now. Commercial break.